Tonight, something extraordinary is unfolding above us. A glowing traveler from the edge of our solar system is sweeping past our world, closer than it has ever been in human history. Its name is Comet Swan, officially designated C2025R2, a mysterious visitor that appeared suddenly, as if materializing out of sunlight itself. Astronomers first spotted it just weeks ago, on September 11, 2025, through the SWAN instrument aboard the SOHO spacecraft, and yet its origins stretch back to the frozen outskirts of our cosmic neighborhood, a region so distant it's almost mythic. Tonight, it's here. Its emerald light can be seen faintly in the west after sunset. Moving silently through the darkness, its glowing tail stretching millions of kilometers behind it like a celestial banner. When it first appeared, scientists were stunned. Swan wasn't supposed to exist. At least, not this close. Not this bright. Not this soon. The images from the Swan camera revealed a glowing object racing toward the sun its tail spanning nearly two degrees across the sky, five times wider than the full moon. Within hours of its confirmation, observatories across the globe locked their telescopes onto it. What they saw defied easy explanation. The comet's coma, the cloud of gas and dust surrounding its icy nucleus, shimmered with a deep green hue caused by vaporized carbon and cyanogen gas reacting with ultraviolet sunlight. But the light was unnaturally steady, unwavering, almost as if the comet were maintaining its own luminous equilibrium rather than being torn apart by solar radiation. Astronomers quickly calculated its trajectory. Swan's perihelion, or closest approach to the sun, had occurred on September 12, 2025, just a day after it was discovered. At that point, it was roughly 75 million kilometers from the sun, about half the distance between the Earth and our star. From there, it curved outward, heading toward our orbital path. That path, as fate would have it, would intersect near October 20th, when the comet would make its closest approach to Earth, passing within 39 million kilometers. That's close enough to watch through binoculars, but far enough to be perfectly safe. Yet despite the reassurance, many astronomers couldn't shake a sense of unease. The comet had appeared without warning, from a region too near the Sun to observe beforehand. Its motion was smooth its luminosity constant, and its timing eerily coinciding with the presence of another mysterious object, 3 I Atlas, was impossible to ignore. Two cosmic wanderers arriving in the same season, each from a different direction, one from Sagittarius, one from Aquarius. It's the kind of coincidence that keeps scientists awake at night. Could these two objects truly be unrelated? Or are we witnessing something orchestrated, something larger, something that hints at a pattern beneath the chaos? For now, we can only watch. Tonight, Swan's glowing form drifts past the Earth, its tail pointing away from the sun, shimmering green against the black canvas of space. For observers in the Southern Hemisphere, it's a ghostly jewel hanging low over the western horizon after sunset, just above the constellation Libra. But beyond its beauty lies a deeper mystery. Swan's orbital period, the time it takes to complete one full circuit around the sun, is roughly 286 years, comma, placing its aphelion or farthest distance, within the outer Kuiper belt. That means it isn't interstellar like 3I Atlas, but rather a long-period comet bound to our solar system, a returning traveler from the icy frontier. Still, something about it feels different. 
its arrival direction from Aquarius, its sudden detection only a day before perihelion, its strange, steady glow, all of it suggests an object unlike any typical comet we've studied. In several spectral readings, astronomers noted brief spikes of ultraviolet emissions that didn't match the usual chemical reactions expected from solar heating. Swan's trajectory brings it closer to Earth than any other major comet in recent decades, and its appearance coincides with another cosmic visitor moving through our system. Scientists are beginning to wonder if we're witnessing the start of something cyclical. But for all the scientific fascination, there's a growing whisper among the community. Why now? Why this year? First, an interstellar object unlike anything we've ever seen. Then, a massive comet racing out of the sun's glare just as the first one approaches its perihelion. And tonight, the second object passes Earth at its closest distance, visible, silent, and green. Astronomer confirmed that their trajectories are completely different, ruling out any physical connection. Yet many can't help feeling that this pattern, this sequence, is too precise to dismiss. Imagine, for a moment, the view from space, Earth, a pale blue marble drifting around its star, and just beyond, a glowing emerald arc, swan, sweeping past, its luminous gases stretching millions of kilometers, slowly fading as it recedes into the dark. It will continue outward now, heading back toward the Kuiper Belt, where it will freeze again for centuries, until gravitational resonance calls it inward once more. Most of us will not live to see its return, but tonight we can witness a cosmic heartbeat, a momentary crossing between worlds, frozen and alive. As Swan fades into the west, the night sky feels different. Something ancient has brushed past us, and the air hums with quiet possibility. Did we just watch a simple comet, or a messenger of patterns we haven't yet decoded? The universe is vast, patient, and layered with meaning. Sometimes it speaks not in words, but in events, alignments, appearances, moments that seem coincidental, yet feel deliberate. Swan's visit might be one of those messages written in green fire across the October sky. So look up tonight, if the weather allows. Find the horizon after sunset and search for that faint, ghostly glow. The light of a traveler older than history, closer than imagination, and gone too soon. In the silence between the stars, something has passed by our world. And for a fleeting moment, we were part of its journey.